My name is Ryan Mercer, and I am the author of a brand new component being offered on unofficial SF called Duplicate Record Check. I'm recording this video to give you an explanation as to why you might want to use this component and how you can use this component. So to kick things off, I just wanted to show my duplicate rules. You'll notice that there's five of them, and they're all the standard duplicate rules that Salesforce ships to you. Matching rules as well. So the first thing I wanted to show was this lead that I have pre-created. It's got first name, last name, Ryan Mercer, email, and also has company. Now, when you are creating records in screen flows, you might have something that looks like this. First screen takes first name, last name, email address, and company. Then what we're doing is we're instantiating a lead variable with the inputs, and then we are creating the lead. Now, if I go and debug this, you'll notice that we hit an error message because the system has detected duplicate records. Now, you might work around this by doing something like this, where you get a lead by first name, last name, email, company. Notice that these are the inputs. And then putting a decision element where you're checking to see, is there a lead that already exists? Yes or no. If yes, we're going to show you a screen that says this lead already exists. If no, we're going to create the lead. So if we debug this, you'll notice that it works just fine. Gets a little tricky if, for example, we delete this lead and instead create a contact. Ryan Mercer, email address. Click Save on this. Go back to the... Uh, Go back to the screen flow. Let's debug it again. Again, we hit the duplicate error message because the way that we've configured the duplicate rules in this case is that we are checking both the lead and the contact record. So we could fix this by adding in another decision. Is there a contact and going through that whole process? Now, to introduce you to this brand new invocable action, we have the same first screen. We're instantiating the lead here. And then we're going to drop in an action called check for duplicate records. I'm going to copy that and paste it into the label. Now, the first thing on the configuration screen that you'll see is you'll have to select the objects that you're passing into the action. Uh, we've got two inputs. Both of these have to be uh, filled in with the same exact object type. Single record to check for duplicates and collection of records to check for duplicates. So we're passing in a lead. We have to fill in both of these, even though we're only going to use one in our case. Now, the second part that you'll see is uh, a place where you're actually going to specify the variable that's being passed in. Um, the action takes two different types of inputs. One is a collection of records, and the other is a single record. In our case, we're just going to pass in a single record, but you could pass in a collection as well. Because we're not passing in a collection, we're going to go ahead and exclude it. Now we'll click Done. Now, for the sake of the explanation or the sake of the demo, I'm going to show uh, what the output looks like. So, the first thing that we're going to return to you from the from the apex is a boolean. Is there a duplicate? So, notice that here's the two outputs from the apex action. One is the single record return, and here is the collection record return. 
So because we just passed in the single record, or, or the, single, the single record, we're going to use that output. So is duplicate. We also return the S object type, which is a string, and then also the duplicate record ID. So we click save, and now we go and debug this one. You'll notice that it finds it. Now let's say that we don't have a duplicate. Is their duplicate false? So with this invocable Apex action, we are programmatically running the duplicate rules prior to creating the records. And we return a few important pieces of information for you to branch off and do interesting things. Hope you can find some use for it. Feel free to comment with any questions or concerns. Uh, and if you find any bugs, please let me know and I'll get them fixed right away. Thank you so much. Goodbye.